Welcome to the Custom Lunacy site. This site allows you to make customized versions of the Looney Labs game Lunacy, print it through the Game Crafter for just $10 plus shipping and handling, and have it in your hands in a matter of days. All of us at Looney Labs and the Game Crafter are really excited about this site, and we hope you are too. Okay, let's get started. When you first enter the site at thegamecrafter.com forward slash custom dash lunacy forward slash you'll see this screen. You'll see links to some information and help files and some legal text. This page is mainly to let you know that all images that you upload need to be either your original art or artwork that you have the sole rights to. At this time you cannot use clip art or graphic sites to find images. Sorry. But we have an ever-growing library of images for you to choose from, so no worries if you don't have art or photos of your own to work with. Let's click I understand and agree. If you're new to the Game Crafter or not logged in, you'll be asked to log in or create an account. Once you've logged in, you'll be ready to make a deck. If you have a particular deck already planned, then choose to start a new deck from scratch. Now you will have a few choices to make. The first is whether your deck will be single images or a matched pairs deck. For single images, you provide 24 images and the gameplay involves matching those images to themselves. So in this example deck, the dominoes would match to another image of dominoes. In a matched pairs deck, you will provide 24 sets of things that go together for a total of 48 items, and the gameplay involves matching the pairs. So in this example deck, the 8 times 8 would match to the 64. I'm going to choose matched pairs. Your next choice is whether or not you want corner images for your deck. These are the little pictures in the corner of a deck of cards that let you see what's on the card when they're fanned out in your hand. They're very helpful much of the time, but you may not want them if your images are too detailed to be able to see that small, or if you're including text. I'm going to go for the corners. Okay, here we are at your deck. Notice that if you change your mind about the decisions you made, you can make changes here. I think maybe I shouldn't have chosen the corners because I want to put text in my deck. So I'm going to change it to no corners. It's as easy as that. From here you can start by naming your deck and giving it a description. Now let's add some images. Each image or bit of text that I enter will appear on several cards in the final printed deck. Now, if you look at the user interface for adding images, you'll see that below each image number there are three icons. Mousing over them gives a description of what they do. Upload image, type text, or choose image from library. In this case, I want to upload an image. This pop-up tells you all you need to know about how to upload an image. We need something that is exactly 500 by 500 pixels, a PNG or JPEG file type, and white or transparent background is recommended. I have already made my picture fit these dimensions, so I'm ready to drag and drop. Or you can use the finder to locate your picture. And there it is, my first card image. I'm thinking that maybe my deck will be a getting to know you deck so I want to match people's faces with their names. Notice that there's an image 1A and an image 1B. That's because this is a matched pairs deck. If I toggle to a single image deck, image 1B goes away and we would just be matching a picture of me to another picture of me. But I want it to be a matched pairs deck so that a picture of me matches to my name. So let's add my name to image 1B. Matched pairs should always have the same image number, one in this case. 
This middle icon is the one to use to add text. There are currently three font choices. Chalkboard, which is a standard print. Sego, which is recommended if you'll be using numbers to avoid sixes looking like nines in the heat of gameplay. And Snell Roundhand, which is a fancier font. I'm going to stick with chalkboard. Let's see how it will look with preview. Hmm, that's a little small for the space. I think I'll make it bigger. But thinking ahead, I know that one of the friends I want to add to this deck is Elizabeth. So I'm going to test out which size font will work for that long of a name. Okay, it looks like 26 is big enough to fill the space, but not go over. I'll use that font size for all my images. Now let's put it back to Lori. Looks good. I save that, and there it is. Perfect. Note that the next time you use the text adding feature, it will start out at 26 points. You can change it if you want, but it will default to the last size you used, since most people want all their fonts to be the same size. Okay, the last way to add an image to your deck is the third icon, choose an image from the library. If we click here, we're given a bunch of images to choose from, and they're searchable. I want to put my good friend and co-worker Allison in the deck, and luckily I know there's a picture of her in here because she's Nature Girl from Just Desserts. I typed Nature Girl in the search, or I could have typed Just Desserts, and there she is. I click on the image and poof, she's in the game. Now I'll add her name as the match. Okay, I've got two of my 24 matched pairs done. It won't take any time at all to finish my deck. But there's one more thing we'll need to do before it's truly done, and that's create a card back. Up here at the top is a place to add a card back. This image will appear in the round circle on the back of every card in the deck, and will also show through the round hole in the box so that you can tell your custom decks apart. You can upload an image for this space just like the others. A 500 by 500 pixel square usually fits right in the circle but you want to check to make sure. That looks pretty good. Or you can put a logo or title on the back card backs. I think I'll just call this deck Friends. Note that for card backs only, you can add a colored background. Yellow is my favorite color, so I'm going to choose that. Okay, once all your images and your card back are ready, you can save your deck. The Save button is down here at the bottom. Note the funny message that pops up. You really don't ever need to save because the deck is saving in real time, but le people like to have a save button. Other buttons down here let you copy and edit this deck. Say if I want to put different friends in for a different get together. Or you can delete the deck. Be careful about that, it's permanent. Once we have all the images in, there will be some other options. One will be to send a PDF proof to be emailed to you. This PDF can be printed out to see all your images in the actual size they will be on the cards. This is really helpful to see if your image is too busy or if you've got a lot of images that look very similar and would make matching difficult. 
When your deck is complete, you will also see Add to Cart down at the bottom here. To order your deck, simply add it to the cart and move on to checkout, where you will be given shipping and payment options. We suggest that if you are ordering multiple copies of a deck and have the time, just order one first to confirm it's exactly what you want before ordering a lot more. Okay, that's all there is to it. If you want to see all the decks you've made, just click on My Decks and they'll all be waiting for you. Or if you want some inspiration, click on Library and see what others have made. All of the library decks are available at a, as a starting place for you to customize further if you'd like. For example, let's say you want to make a dessert deck, but waffles are not your thing. You can copy and edit this deck and then switch that image out for, you know, the great picture of pancakes that you have or whatever you want. The new deck will be saved in the My Decks section for your purchase whenever you'd like. Okay, now you know how to create a custom lunacy deck, so get to it. We'd love to see what you come up with. At just $10 a deck and shipping within a week or two, they make great gifts. Have fun!